Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to go from this to this. This has been a long-awaited video for a lot of you who have been asking for how I style my pixie haircut. Um, specifically, a lot of people want to know how I do the pushback uh, style. I'm definitely somebody that does not wash my hair every day. I say I wash my hair every three to five days because I actually like my hair the dirtier the better. I actually hate styling clean hair, so I'll kind of show you today how I add that good dirty texture into my clean hair. So I've already washed my hair. Um, I usually use, it's still wet, uh, Olaplex. Olaplex is what I've been using for quite a while now, probably like over a year, and I just love it. It's actually helped to thicken my hair, but every once in a while it is good to kind of reset your hair, kind of chelate it and um, normalize it. So uh, maybe like once a month, maybe sometimes more if my hair is a bit crazy, um, I use this normalizing clean reset just to kind of strip my hair of all the gunk, all the buildup, uh, because the amount of hair product I put in my hair, I definitely have lots of buildup. Uh, so once my hair is all nice and clean coming out of the shower, after I towel dry, I add It's a 10. I've been using It's a 10 for years, just because I have. So I'll put it in and then I'll just comb through my hair to make sure everything gets covered. And then I usually let it kind of air dry for a little bit so it's not super... Um, not too heavy. So normally for the last few years, I've been using Chlorine's volume um, spray or kind of mousse or gel or whatever you call it. Spray it on the roots and then just kind of work it through your hair a little bit and then blow dry. So I do like this a lot, but sometimes the only thing I don't like is it kind of gets a little bit crispy. So I'm actually trying Arnco's. This is their, what they call Dallas to get that big Dallas hair. So I'm actually gonna try this. Um, haven't tried it yet. So this is basically the same thing, just um, spraying it. So it's gonna get tons of body and shine without stiffness. So that is good. So that's what I'm going for, that's what I want. Put it on the, the roots and then blow dry. So that is what we're going to do. So I usually, I kind of have my part right here. So I usually just take my fingernail and just section at the roots, pretty easy. And then just spray that. I'm gonna go, oh, that smells magnificent. And then I just kind of free for haul it in the back. And then I usually just kind of work it through like that. Next, it's time to blow dry. Let me just kind of preface with, Blow drying is a massive part of how I get the um, pushback look. I think without blow drying, it's it's just not gonna be as effective. I definitely do it every once in a while. Like if I don't get a chance to blow dry my hair or whatever, where I'll let it air dry. And you can still get the same effect, um, but when you don't get the same amount of volume because the heat is what kind of activates those volume sprays. As well as that, you don't get the smoothness with it um, when you air dry. And then along with that, what you'll see when I blow dry is I actually will blow dry against, against the, the grain, against the curve, against the way I want it to go. So my hair, you know, sweeps to my right, but I actually will blow dry it to the left and then at the end, you know, blow dry it back to the right. So that's a big part of how I get so much volume and how I get a good pushback um, with my styling. So I'd say blow drying is super necessary. So if you're not somebody that's blow drying currently and you want that volume and you want that pushback, you need to get a, get a good uh, blow dryer. So with that, let's get to it. First what I do is I get this part uh, dry first so that when I do switch it over to kind of blow drying against the grain, um, this is kind of already established and then you don't have the problem of it like wanting to keep flopping back over. This kind of establishes that strong hold of the push over to the right. Okay, 
So now at this point, I'm gonna just keep going against the curve, against the flop, um, but I'm gonna just section off and do it piece by piece or section by section. Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> That's done pretty good with the volume, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's as much volume as the chlorine does, and the thing that I love about it is it doesn't have the stiffness at the roots. So it feels really soft, super smooth. Okay, so next thing I do is I just do a little bit of straightening. Uh, I'm one I don't really like, you know, like the curled in type look in my hair naturally kind of curls in. Um, you know, there's a time I play, sometimes I don't mind it, but. For the most part, I feel like it gives it a little bit more edginess when you have like good straight ends. So I just run through real quick for my ends. And so you wouldn't have to do this. This isn't like a necessary thing for the pushback. This is just what I like to do. All right, so I think we're at a good spot with the streaming. So still some good volume. So now I'm gonna add in some dirtiness um, and some more volume and more texture. So something I've been using for a really long time is the Evo Haze. And this is basically like a, it's a styling powder. So my hairstylist that I had for years and years who was with me for a long time and was with me with the big, the big transitions of my hair, um, actually suggested this to me because he knew that I loved having dirty hair. So this is basically just a styling powder that you put on your roots and then kind of just, you know, zhuzh it a bit and it gives you volume as well as texture. It's pretty simple. Again, we're just gonna section off little bits of my hair. And you can, you know, depending on the amount of volume, you can do however many little puffs you want. I like a good amount. Kind of free for all in the back. So then I just kind of work at the roots. And as you can see, it just instantly gives some insane volume. So just again, depending on the amount of volume you want, you can kind of go back in and add a bit more, however you want. I'd say, yeah, I always start out less and then build up. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of where we're at, yeah. So as you can see, it gives great volume and some great texture. So next, we're gonna do pomade or clay, styling clay. This again is super important for the pushback look because you need something that's gonna hold, but it's also gonna be flexible. My favorite, which I think has been discontinued because I cannot find it anywhere, is this Davinus Styling Clay. It's their strong molding clay for a firm matte finish. If anybody finds this, please let me know and send me a link. So what I'm using instead is Evo's Cassius, and this is just like a styling clay. I actually really like this, it has great hold and it's great, like it's matting, mattifying, kind of like the one from Davinus. The only thing is, is it is clay, it is like glue. So it's hard to get off the hands. But I've tried so many different pomades and um, I'm just trying this one out so that's why I've got this little baby guy. Arnco's pomades are pretty good. I've been using them um, and I've used a bunch different of Davinus's to see if they come close to their styling clay, but none of them do. So yeah, I just got a little bit there and then I just work it into my fingers, kind of like that. Kind of smooth out and then I just go into the part that I wanna make sure is gonna stay over. So right on my part. And that's what I prioritize first. Kind of work through there. Get it at a good point. Make sure, yeah, that's gonna hold. And then I go back for more to then work through the rest. Get more, get some more texture in there, just get some pieciness. Again, it's just gonna 
kind of give it some dirtiness. Okay, so we're in a good spot now. Um, so yeah, there's that. This one is a bit heavy. So, and I think too, because my hair is so clean. So now I'd like to finish it off with some texturizing hairspray or volume spray or finishing spray. Just something with a light hold that's gonna add more volume and a little bit of hold. Um, but as well as that, it just kind of kind of finishes, finishes the hair. So again, I've used quite a few different ones. Um, I used Evos. I've also used Dry Bars and both of those are great choices for like a sprint finishing spray, just the volume spray. But I'm currently trying the Verb. Uh, this is Light Hold Weightless Grit Volume Spray Texture Spray. A little shake, and this is just gonna finish us off. And because it is so light, you can really, it's really super buildable. So you can just kind of do it to whatever level. All right, my friends, and that is it. That is how I style my pixie haircut with a pushback. Yeah, pretty easy. Comment below, let me know what you think. We will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.